What if the human brain, with its billions of neurons and trillions of connections, could be replicated in a machine? Imagine a computer that doesn't just calculate but learns, evolves and adapts just like the human brain. This isn't the realm of science fiction, it's the cutting-edge field of neuromorphic computing. Neuromorphic computing is a concept that seeks to mimic the human brain's architecture and efficiency. It's like taking a snapshot of how the brain works and then recreating that in a computer system. It's all about developing hardware and algorithms that mirror the neural networks present in our brains. The brain is a complex, non-linear system, with billions of neurons interacting in myriad ways. It's not just about processing information, but also about how that information is stored and retrieved. In essence, the brain is an incredibly efficient, self-learning system. Neuromorphic computing aims to emulate this efficiency and self-learning capability in machines. At the heart of neuromorphic computing lies the concept of a neural network. Picture a web of interconnected nodes, each representing a neuron. These nodes, or artificial neurons, interact with each other, much like the neurons in our brain. They learn from their interactions, adapt, and evolve. This is the fundamental building block of neuromorphic computing. But how does this translate to actual computing hardware? Traditional computers operate on the binary system, with bits that are either zero or one, in contrast, neuromorphic systems use something called spiking neurons. These artificial neurons don't just switch on or off, they generate spikes of electrical activity, similar to how neurons in the brain fire. This allows for a much more dynamic, adaptable system. Neuromorphic chips, the hardware equivalent of these spiking neurons, are the physical embodiment of this concept. They are designed to mimic the brain's structure and function, all the way down to the synapses. This allows them to process information in a way that's more akin to how the brain works, leading to potential breakthroughs in artificial intelligence and machine learning. In essence, neuromorphic computing is about bridging the gap between biological brains and artificial intelligence. It's about creating machines that don't just calculate, but learn and adapt. It's about pushing the boundaries of what computers can do, and maybe, just maybe, giving us a glimpse into the inner workings of our own brains. In conclusion, neuromorphic computing is a fascinating and dynamic field. It's about more than just building faster computers, it's about fundamentally changing how those computers operate. By mimicking the human brain, neuromorphic computing is pushing the boundaries of artificial intelligence, paving the way for machines that learn and adapt just like us. This isn't just the future of computing, it's the future of understanding ourselves.